Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing double declining balance method. So basically, this method is still under depreciation. So I already created a separate video for depreciation, uh, another method of depreciation. So please check that out. And again, this video will be discussing double declining balance method. So what is double declining balance method? It is a method which is similar to declining balance method, except that the rate of depreciation K is replaced by 2 over L. So we have this formula, dm is equivalent to Fc times 1 minus 2 over L raised to M minus 1 times 2 over L. And we have the BVM or the book value at m here at any time m which is equivalent to fc times 1 minus 2 over l raised to m and we also have the dm or the total depreciation that is equivalent to fc minus bbm so dm or the small letter d is the depreciation at any time m and we also have the bbm or the book value of a property at any time m, the dm with d uh, with capital letter d, that is the total depreciation of a property at any time m, and l is the useful life in years, and fc is the first cost. So that is the abbreviation of um, the variables that is that is used in in our formula. So basically, this is just related with the methods, the previous methods we have discussed. So we have here an example, a machine has a first cost of 140,000 pesos and a life of 8 years with a salvage value of 10,000 pesos at the end of its useful life. Using the double declining balance method, we need to find what is the book value on the third year and what is the depreciation charge on the fourth year. So first, let's um, solve this problem by identifying the givens. So we have the FC, which is equivalent to our 140,000 pesos. We also have uh, useful life in years, which is 8. And our SV, or salvage value, or the scrap value, which is 10,000. And at the end of its useful life, using double declining balance method, again, we need to find A. What is our A is the book value on the third year. So BVM at M is equivalent to 3. So um, for the formula of BVM, we already have uh, discussed that earlier. So BVM is said to be equivalent to FC times 1 minus 2 over L raised to M. So FC is already given with 140,000. So we'll just write that down. My 1 minus 2 over L, which is 10. And M is the number of years, which is 3. So BVM is equivalent to 59,062 pesos, 0.50 centavos. So this is now our book value in three years. Next is letter B, which is the depreciation charge on the fourth year. So what we are looking for here is the DM, small letter, letter D, at M is equivalent to 4. And DM is, uh, is given by the formula FC times 1 minus 2 over L raised to M minus 1 multiplied by 2 over L. So that is the formula of our DM or the depreciation charge. So FC is 140,000 or 140K. 1 minus 2 and L is 10. I mean 8. So I'm sorry, this should be also 8. And M, which is equivalent to th uh, 4, but minus 1, so that is 3. And then we have 2 over 8. 
So when you cal when you calculate this one, this is equivalent to fourteen thousand seven hundred sixty five point sixty three pesos. So that is our depreciation charge at the fourth year. So I'm going to say the the initial cost will be deducted with fourteen thousand at fourth year. So another example we have number two, which is a lath machine has an estimated salvage value of 10,000 at the end of its useful life of eight years. Compute the first cost of the machine. So we are looking for the first cost of the machine if the total depreciation at, at the end of fourth year using double declining method is 957,031 pesos, 0.25 centavos. So let's determine what are the given. So SV or the salvage value is said to be 10,000. And the life useful life in years is eight years. We are looking for the first cost and be, uh, total depreciation at the end of fourth year is 957 31.25 that is at the end of fourth year so we now have to find what is our fourth, first cost so from here um, we um, there's no specific um, formula for FC, but we can just um, use the the givens that the, the given values that we have here. So since we have DM and we have SV, then we can solve for our FC. So as we know, DM has a formula of FC minus BVM, but we don't know the the value of our BVM yet. So we need to solve first for our BVM. So as we know, the formula of our BVM is equivalent to BVM is equivalent to FC times 1 minus 2 over L raised to M. So since we don't know the value of our FC, then maybe we can just replace the whole um, formula of our BVM here. So that will give us DM is equivalent to FC minus the, the formula of our BVM, which is FC times 1 minus 2 over L raised to M. Since we know the value of our DM, then we can just um, substitute that to our equation. So we have 957,031.25. That is equivalent to FC that we don't know minus FC, which is unknown, 1 minus 2 over L, which is 8, and we have our M, which is the fourth year, so meaning to say M is 4. So that being said, if you try to calculate that in your calculators, we have FC is equivalent to 1,400,000 pesos. So this is now our final or our first cost. Next example we have here, an equipment uh, worth 5,000 pesos has an anticipated salvage value of 500 at the end of its fifth year depreciable life. Compute the depreciation of the equipment on the third year only using DDB method or double declining balance method. So again, we have FC or the first cost, which is 5,000. We have the salvage value, which is 500. We have the L, which is 5. And we need to compute the depreciation of the equipment. So we are looking for DM at M is equivalent to 3. So we already have the equation or the formula for our dm that is equivalent to fc times 1 minus 2 over l raised to m minus 1 times 2 over l. So we have fc is 5000 1 minus 2 over l which is 5 
m minus 1. So 3 minus 1, that is 2. And we have 2 over 5. So our dm is equivalent to 720 pesos. So that is the depreciation on the third year. Next example we have here, a certain machine cost 400,000 pesos and has a life of five years and a salvage value of 50,000 at the end of its expected life. Compute the depreciation on the third year using double declining balance method. So FC is 400,000. We have L, which is 5. Salvage value is 50,000. And we need to compute the DM at M is equivalent to 3. So the same equation with um, example number 3. So we have DM is equivalent to FC, which is 400,000 times 1 minus 2 over L, which is 5. M, which is 3, minus 1 is 2. And we have 2 over L, which is 5. So this is equivalent to 57,600 pesos. So the last example for this video is a machine cost 100,000 pesos and has a salvage value of 5,000 after its useful life of 25 years. Compute the book value after 8 years using double declining balance method. So we have FC is 100,000. We have the salvage value is 5,000. And useful life in years is 25. So we need to compute the BVM at M is equal to 8. So from this, we have the formula of our BVM, which is equivalent to FC times 1 minus 2 over L raised to M. So FC is 100K or 100,000. 1 minus 2 over L, which is 25, raised to 8. We are looking for the 8th year. So BVM at 8th year is 51,321.89 pesos. So this is now our final answer. So that's it for this video and I hope you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. I'll see you on the next videos.